This is Cursed Earth Radio. You're listening to uh, this extra thing that we decided to do for Cursed Earth Radio uh, because we just can't get enough of hearing ourselves talk. I know. I love the sound of your snotty, drippy oh, voice. I know. I'm <laughs> struggling. But we uh, are excited because we were able to play the Judge Dredd Helter Skelter game. Again. From Osprey Games and Martin Wallace, designer. And it's not even out yet, so we're kind of a big deal. <laughs> not not because, uh, as Johnny wanted to pretend on the last episode, uh, that we got it somehow because of this podcast. <laughs> we, Let me have my fantasy. We ordered it from some game store, and they didn't give a fuck about the release. They, they got they one just, copy and said, get it out of the yeah, shop. Yeah. So, yeah, we're back. HMK, Johnny, and Dylan Box. <laughs> he's got his brand new podcast name today because... Freshly minted. Uh, the, the roll of the dice said that his uh, I- issue that he started with had Bill Clinton with a square box head. But, Where else are you going to get that? Right, yes. Only at 2080 and Cursed Earth Radio. But uh, this is, I, th- I thought this would be good because Dylan, uh, I'm like a, a mid level gamer, probably. I don't know where you, you're gaming, but you have. Pro- I feel like you have. Are more accomplished at playing games than I am. I don't know. You get your. You've played a lot of games. Well, he went three and zero today. Yes, he won <laughs> all the games today. And then Johnny is not a gamer at all, really, right? You're not a, a board game person. I am uh, enthusiastic about it, and I enjoy playing them. But I do not like. I don't have a lot of gaming. Yeah. It wasn't until we started hanging out that I got back into it. It had been a long time. So. Yeah. I was always trying to have a weekly game night. Could never really get it up and running. Uh, we've got kind of a weekly thing going now. Yeah, so. a little bit. It's been, it's been good, uh, but I was kind of forced everybody to play this uh, for a game night where uh, a couple of our members fell through, and I was like, oh, shoot, well, let's just play this. <laughs> so I've been looking forward to this. This is based on another game called The Wildlands, and uh, it's one of the quickest uh, miniatures games I've ever played. Mm-hmm. It like I I'm used to heavy miniatures games and lots of strategy and tactics and mm-hmm. there's a ton of that in here but oh it definitely can be strategic but it's also pretty simple to understand easy to pick up and play and it, it moves pretty quick yeah I mean the the rule book being what six pages or so yeah it's that's not... that's a new one for me for most of my games <laughs> usually having three different rule books yeah and trying to manage all the information at once. Yeah, we play uh, Kingdom Death, and I know a lot of that story, but, you know, like, the rule book is like, mm-hmm. you know, I also come from Warhammer background, where you look at the rule book and you decide, oh my god, I don't think I can commit to this. Yeah, it's financially or otherwise. But uh, I've been really surprised how much uh, strategy you can pull out of this game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say, like... None I, of it involving Gronk. Oh god, the Gronk. <laughs> I've heard people say this is a light strategy game. I disagree. I think it's... It it's could, as deep as you want to make it, honestly. I mean... Yeah, yeah. From and where you're deploying your characters versus what you're going to give the other person mm-hmm. to deploy your pieces versus, you know, how how do you want to play your character and the cards you've got for your character? Or, like, you can pass your turn and just wait it out and see where the pieces go. And there's yeah. a, It's as deep as you want to make it. I was uh, surprised, like, we played three games in an hour, probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And, uh, I don't know about you, Dylan, I know games that I've played with you, have we ever played more than one game in, like, four hours? Mm, <laughs> it's rare. rare code, na- code names. Code, name, code names, we've finished a few. <laughs> yeah, so... But uh, I'm used to eight and 12-hour sessions of Arkham Horror and stuff like that, yeah. so... Yeah, and then, like, Johnny and I sat down and... Uh, I, I was able to teach him the rules. Most most yeah, of them were correct. We got I'm most of it correct. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. But if I can remember the rules without opening the book, that's pretty... Yeah. That says something. Because I don't have a good memory. I'm just... That's just not my strong suit. And I'm the rule guy that everybody hates. Yeah. So. <laughs> you're, the, you're the necessary rule guy that keeps, uh, that keeps the game Lawful on Lawful neutral. <laughs> so, uh, in this game, they should have called this... They called it the Judge Dread Helter Skelter. But it's 2008 Helter Skelter. Yeah, it should have been the 2008 Miniatures game. But Judge Dread, honestly, he's the poster boy for 2008. I so. feel like they had a better shot of selling a Judge Dread game than they did a, a 2000. 2008. Yeah. They're not going to sell a Johnny Alpha game or a well, Slain game. They have a Johnny Alpha game, though. But, Here in the uh, state? They yeah, sell yeah, yeah. Strong oh. Team Dog, yeah. Oh. But uh, I feel like for something like this, 
Uh, well, so that's a strontium dog game, not a specifically a Johnny Alpha. You're right. Game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna get. The, you're gonna well, get us killed. Well, but I mean, if you see strontium dog, who do you think of? You think of Johnny Alpha. I see Johnny Alpha. I see dick shaped helmets all. Well, I know that's in our bump. The interesting <laughs> thing is, you have uh, the judges: strontium dog, slain, and not Rogue Trooper. Nikolai Dante. Why was Rogue Trooper? Yeah, that's that's a good question. That could have been ABC Warriors. Oh God! You get a black blood out there. Yes. But they chose Nikolai Dante. I don't have any reading experience with Nikolai Nor Dante. Nor do I. Uh, I don't have anything against it. I think the whole time we were playing, I was going, and who is that? <laughs> who is that? Yeah, that was the... the and, and Nikolai Dante did not make it to the cover. Well, I mean, you've got Johnny Alpha, Slain, and Dread. There's no room for Nikolai. No one's buying this for Nikolai Dante. Sadly, One guy in the UK bought this for Nikolai yeah. Dante. You just made us lose one. Oh, no. no. That guy oh, in the no. UK. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, hell, I wouldn't have bought this for Slane, because I've never read Slane, so there you go. I'm still working on you with that. Yeah, I'm working on it. Um, so, I think we played everything. I think each of us played all the factions. Yeah, we had all the factions on the table, and I know from going from our two-player game to a three-player game, it got a lot more um, interesting as far as the, the turns and the plays. I can't imagine having four players on that board. Yeah, I think uh, some of these uh, factions get better the more players you have, like the except judges. Gronk. Oh God, I I've taken to the Strontium Dogs, but Gronk is worthless. I I still think it's all on how you run him and where you run him. You don't be sending him out to get things. He needs I, to be backline. I'm really trying, but I just can't. And I, I don't know. <laughs> you, you didn't have any. You you said you healed once. I healed once, and then immediately died afterwards. So <laughs> what a waste. Yeah. Uh, Dylan had no problem whatsoever winning games today. No. <laughs> I think the first one was the closest. I think mm -hmm. we were all within one, and yeah. then. Um, I I was setting up to take on Warp Slain with Mean. I, I had three bashes set up, stacked. And somebody got greedy. And we could have taken Warp Slain off the board, but yeah. you had to come in and be a dick about things. Well, you know, mm. that's how it is. Mm. And, no, and he won again. I could have stopped that. <laughs> what... So you won with the Slade team twice, and, and once then Nikolai with Nikolai Dante. Jesus yeah. Christ! Ah. Even came in and won with Nikolai Dante. I don't know what their strategy is. I, I I couldn't even figure out how they were supposed to be played. Like, what did you gather from that? Because I, I got nothing. Or, or you either, John. I didn't get anything. No, that's that's like I really because I've played all four factions in the times we've played so far, and they each definitely have their own strategy that you really need to stick to, or you're not gonna succeed. And it's like what I got with like the Nikolai Dante is you don't want to be anywhere near uh, attack from distance. Yeah, attack from distance because you got um, what's her name, Lulu, uh, Lulu Romanov. Like so, she can bash and attack from a space adjacent, and then you've got the others that can snipe and shotgun. It's like so medium distance, keeping away and just having her maybe in there and just pop shot and pop pop. Yeah. So, and then you got you know slain where. <laughs> You just, just destroy axes, just everybody. But yeah. then we the board. we found out that Warp Slain can't defend. No, he cannot. He so, can't block uh, once he's gone, once he's gone yeah. to Warp Slain. He can't block melee attacks. See, I had three bashes set, <laughs> but up. he wasn't Warp Slain. He would have he would have Warp Slain once yeah, he hit him once. Him over. He would have pushed him to Warp Slain and then shit, he he's just punched him into the yeah the next world. But no, Justice Department. I keep trying to go more for the pieces than for the kills. Yeah, I I. That has served me okay. I mean, I'm getting there, but I know like Anderson and Hershey aren't much at one on one. Mm -hmm. But like, but Dread holds his own. Giant holds his own. He's got a shotgun, and nobody wants to get into a, a bash fight with Mean. Yeah, you know, which is yeah. The the psychological aspect of some of these pieces gets me. Like if I see Warp Slain, even though maybe it's not even that much more powerful, I run away from. No, it. I I didn't know how Warp Slain played, so I definitely kept my distance. Yeah. And then you got up and. Hit him twice and he was dead. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I can say on the Strontium Dog uh, side of things, uh, Mid Face McNulty, I can't say that because my nose is Burr -burr -burr -burr. full of snot, uh -huh. is, the, is the MVP of that team because I swear every, there's so many cards that you can move with him every turn. You're mm -hmm. going to get a card for him every turn. Most games that I've played, I start with three or four cards where I can use him. So. He can run around the board and pick up stuff immediately. He almost makes up for the fact that Gronk is so worthless. <laughs> and I, I kind of feel like uh, 
Durham Red is also kind of worthless. Well, I think it's all in how you play her, because you got all cocky, and all of a sudden you had three enemy pieces on the same square with Durham Red, and it just was not going to go well. I, I, I left these games feeling like she was not the, the MVP of my team. I mean, she only starts out with three health regardless, yeah. and one melee you know, heals one health. Yeah. Long yeah. run. What do you do? Right. But I like Dylan's strategy. With I knew after the first game that if you attacked, there were probably going to be three more cards behind that attack. <laughs> yeah. So overwhelming force. If if I lucked out and had to deflect, I knew that there were going to be three more shots coming down range that I wasn't going to be able. Uh, something cool about this that we talked about the other day is that with the artwork, they got their. 2080 artist who is often responsible for that character to do the card art. Mm-hmm. So everything looks different. Like they, uh, Slade was Clint Legley, which he should have got Clint Legley to do the ABC Warriors. Yeah, uh, I just, I mean. Nikolai Dante, of course, was Simon Fraser. That's like his character. Strontium Dog was Chris Weston. And then uh, Rufus Daglo did the Judge Dredd. And I think those are the weakest. I love Rufus Daglo and I love his art style, but I don't like these little chubby, stumpy. They should have got Cam Kennedy. Yeah, so oh the dread cards are just so, ugly. They'd just be so fucking ugly. Yeah, bony hips and. But uh, like like Rufus Daglow did the artwork for the Cursed Earth game, and mm-hmm. it's real fucking cool and amazing. And there's something about these that I just I don't care for. But it's still cool that the actual like I feel like as we get games for 2000 AD, they're also trying to like communicate that that element of like oh who's your favorite 2000 AD artist yeah. that draws dread. So I, I think that's cool. And it's the good thing about this game is it's so easy to pick up, so mm-hmm. quick to play. Hopefully people who are into tabletop gaming but not necessarily into dread yeah. will give it a shot and hopefully they enjoy it and hopefully that makes them want to check out Dread as a comic book character mm-hmm. and see what, what the lore is. I would feel comfortable telling someone this is an easy game. It is, yeah, it's yeah. But I wouldn't want them to think that it was a like a beginner's like game. A beginner's yeah, game. Yeah, because there's a really, it, like I said, it's as strategically deep as you want to make it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I know Dylan was looking like five moves ahead and <laughs> just stacking cards. I was trying to run in the in-between spaces and just get to my pieces. HMK was definitely trying to pick fights and get in and over his head every now and then. I was trying to just randomly... Uh, your strategy was not knowing what your strategy was, yeah, which was yeah. you know, equally as hard to game plan for. Uh yeah, it didn't, it didn't work well for me. No, you thought you had the world with Durham Red, and then that just got real ugly real quick. I really hope they do expansions. I heard that the other game, this uh, Wildlands that mm. this is based on, has plenty of expansions. It'd be cool if they brought in like the Angel Gang. Yes, that would be great. As the long as I get judges, the uh, as like, long as know. I get Fink and Ratty. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course you would. Yeah. Wait, I don't know. They'll put Link in there. Nobody cares about Link. Maybe we'll get uh, the Brink instead, like you said, the Brink faction. All their all their cards are just exposition. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I noticed, like, uh, I think it was the last game we played where you killed my Judge Giant, and mm-hmm. I didn't get to use any of my Jive Talk cards. Um, when I would draw, I would start getting all these Judge Giant cards that I can't do anything <laughs> with. <laughs> Same thing with Anderson. If Anderson died, I would have six psi cards that yeah. I, I could have taken pieces but no I you didn't, didn't believe in the heart of the cards no. <laughs> <laughs> a big part of this for me was learning not to use everything right away because mm-hmm. I know conservation yeah mm-hmm. like two player it's okay you're like oh it's alright I'll, I'll, but when it's me and the two other people and before it gets back to me it's like oh god I, yeah. I better not attack because I would have need that to defend so. I tried to look long range but I was also trying to proactively get closer to pieces and but the, like the first time we played, I didn't realize that kills counted towards your your, your yeah, point your count, point. and that's the thing. You all you need is five points to win this thing. So it's either you take five of your pieces or you kill people. Mm-hmm. So it's you pick your poison. Um, I think when you're running slain, probably kills work a lot easier than getting closer to pieces. I'd say probably. Uh, he's just got so many. And if you can get him warp slain, I mean, yeah. Every attack turns to a bash. You can deal, you know, crazy damage mm-hmm. really quickly. With so Justice Department, I'm thinking that gathering pieces is more the forte. Killing is a uh, as a secondary. Um, with Strontium Dogs, you said cover was a big part of there. Strontium Dogs is you try to hunker down and send one character. Send Gronk out. <laughs> send, no, you send mid and face out to pick up all your little tokens. You just just walk Gronk around because you 
what else are you going to do with him? Let him get killed. Let yeah. somebody waste You could try healing with him. I mean. I've tried. It's so hard to even move him, though, because he has so few cards mm-hmm. that seem to do anything. Yeah. It's like, uh, I don't know, but I still they're still my favorite factions. Really? So, yeah. Tronium's? And you said um, um, Nikolai Dante was more range, mid-range. Yeah, like so. not getting in direct conflict, it <laughs> felt like. Like keep them at range and the, don't get into the same space. So there's something for everybody in this, and it's uh, it's really it's a well put together game, well organized, mm-hmm. easy to pick up, fun to play, and hopefully uh, people who play tabletop, like I said, don't necessarily know who Dread is, will give it a shot. I think it's definitely worth the asking price. And yep. No, absolutely. You get two a uh, board with two sides. You get four factions, and then um, it looks it looks so. Basic. Even the board, the one I yeah. first saw it, I thought, ah, oh, it looks it's just, I can't see how that would be fun. It looks so basic, but it is. But it is. Yeah, it's I, very misleading. I'm, I'm ridiculous with my games. I like games with, like, depth and, mm-hmm. like, weight. Yeah. Like, way too many frickin' rules and complications and little minutia to track up. This kind of hit it for me. I mean, it's good. It's, awesome. it's, it's got that, you know, you gotta look under the surface level and find, find your own strategy yeah. and stuff like that, and that's what I like about it. Maybe yeah. we'll get a Clinton box uh, expansion. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucking weird. But yeah, I could definitely see him adding Dark Judges. I mean, that's a that's a no-brainer. I guess it's all going to depend on how many people pick it up. And yeah, uh, that's the that's the other the flip of the coin of the 2000 AD. They're yeah. not the fan base even in the UK isn't as huge as you and I, uh, HMK and I thought. Yeah, you know, like, and it's so it's niche over there, and it's re- it's niche niche. Yeah, <laughs> over here in the cursed earth. We just thought people walked around all day with their Judge Dread T-shirts on, nope. drinking their Judge Dread uh, Sith Calf, and it's not like that. No, no, it kind of shattered my perceptions of. So we're niche no matter where we go. Yeah, if I could just get that recycle shirt. But uh, it has been a very hopeful yeah. uh, year because we've got this is the fourth game of 2019 and, or the third of four. Yeah, so. the Warlord comes out next month, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll You're definitely fatty do stampede. A, we'll definitely do an episode on that one. You're just fatty, fatty, fatty. Yeah, I just don't want to paint. I don't want to paint. Neither do I. Well, that's the other thing I liked about uh, this game. You don't really have to paint the miniatures. They're, mm-hmm. They look cool as it is. Yeah, they're inked, which, yeah. is, which is really cool. I like that wash look, and I'm yeah. lazy, and I can't paint, so it's a win, win, yeah. win. I'm horrendously untalented. I'm <laughs> HMK somehow has that. That's He's in his skill set, we found out. When if we I, did if back I get into 40K. A, like a manic painting episode, I'm good. Which you did when we went headlong to 40K and it never yes. played. It never played. It never we played, played once. You and I played once. I played with uh, one of our other friends about five times. And we need to play. We do. I'm yeah. still ready. I'm I still, still have my stuff. It's yeah. it's blacked, but we'll we'll play. But we either have to do it before or after November because they. Yep, uh, it's just a Judge Dread. Yeah. So, so. Go out and buy this game when yeah. you get it. When it's it comes out, it comes out October 31st, right? 29th. 29th. That could be totally wrong. You're the fact checker. Right? Don't look at me. Don't you don't you put that we're evil gonna, on me. We're going to say the 29th. So. December 43rd. <laughs> <laughs> comes out on December 43rd, folks. Oh. Fifth Tuesday of next week. Oh my god, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've been listening to Cursed Earth Radio. Radio, oh, we're doing that? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Google, this is HMK. <laughs> cool, Johnny, cool. And Dylan Bucks. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs>